The other day, I came up with an idea, and I called my friends and asked them if we could take weird objects and weird instruments and ask them one question. Will it jam? My friends are very musical, and I love that about them, but just like every musician should do, I wanted to test out the limits of how far we could stretch music and stretch our music. So today I decided to do that with the didgeridoo. The didgeridoo is an Australian woodwind instrument made from the eucalyptus tree. Uh, it's a woodwind instrument, but you buzz it just like you buzz a tuba, which is perfect for me because I play tuba all day long. The goal of this is to make a somewhat tolerable song that would be, you know, catchy and fun to listen to, but more importantly, fun to play with your friends. The thing with the didgeridoo is when you're playing it, you're like, usually have a stick and you're tapping on it, but if oh, we have a I Grayson, then, well, yeah, but if we have a Grayson, we would rather use Grayson As a because, stick. yeah. Well, yeah, we'll just bang Grayson against this okay. and just whack him on I the head. The... I am the stick. <laughs> <laughs> we kind of have to figure out what pitches I can play with this and, you know, sing, possibly. <laughs> And then if you think, just wiggle your tongue back and forth, oi, 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 oi. Yeah. It's pretty basic. It tastes weird though, doesn't it? Yeah, it does. Cool, if we could use... Maybe we should call these musical chairs. Because those are the songs, the chords and oh, yeah. everything. Yeah. yeah, exactly. But first, I think what we need to build off of is your drum beat. So, that's all you gotta do. So you build a, you build a drum beat. Yeah. Got that? It's a little hard. No. <laughs> One thing I didn't really anticipate when I went into this trying to make a song with a didgeridoo is that it's it's hard to play different pitches with it and that's something that I felt like I needed to do. The goal in this is to take this one didgeridoo and make it play a song. Usually if you want a didgeridoo to play different notes you take different sized didgeridoos but we just couldn't do that for this because then a didgeridoo wouldn't jam, several didgeridoos would jam. I think it's hard to hear. That's, that is a problem. I might have to step up closer and turn that thing yeah, down. Solo, solo yourself up there. Just stand up in front of it. Uh, Are you just singing it? Uh, yeah. <laughs> Let me see. Just use that microphone. We could all just beat around it, too. That's the sound we need. That's our sound. Jim? Yeah, my throat hurts. <laughs> After a while, we went over everything and thought we had a potential tune, and this is what we got. Question is, will the didgeridoo jam? I don't think it's a beginner oh, jam instrument. No. I don't think so either. Because my throat is killing me. We have a music so. major that 
no offense, struggled to jam with this <laughs> instrument, so <laughs> it's pretty rough. <coughs> I think it could jam, like, but it has to be in a, a very friendly setting. What do you think, Matt? Uh, I think you might be better off jamming with it if you played it as a drum than a digital. Oh, absolutely. Yeah. Okay, so the final verdict. After playing around with it and making a song, I don't think I'm going to be taking this to my next gig. It's just very different than the kind of music that I listen to, which isn't surprising because Australian music is very different than the kind of music that people live in in America and in Alabama. We did try to keep the roots of the instrument throughout because we had a drum beat that was very prominent, just like Australian music is, just like regular didgeridoo music is. So that being said, if you define jamming as trying to make money, then it doesn't jam. But if you define jamming as trying to have a fun time with your friends, I absolutely think it jams because we are repeatedly going back to Ed Sheeran's Shape of You and that's kind of how we built the song, which is kind of interesting. It's a, it's a basic song and we were able to turn it into a song with a didgeridoo, which was a lot of fun. So I'm going to show you some of that at the end of this video, just at the little end clip. So if you have any other ideas of what we can see if it will jam, then let us know in the comments. I'm going to go make life musical. See you next time.